All right, so now we're going to cover user inputs in Python. And uh, they're pretty much as easy or easier than any other uh, programming language that most of you guys have worked with before. So let's start by creating our files. And uh, we'll just make a text document, give it the py extension. So let's just call this one lesson 2.1.py. Oops, we can't do that. We got to do underscore one dot py because that uh, the extra dot won't work for whatever reason. So essentially, what you're looking at here is you're going to use a, a built-in module in Python called input. Okay, so we're in that module in the input module. We uh, have to give it some data. So what we'll do is we'll say input, and then inside here, inside the parentheses, is going to be your user prompt. So whatever you, you want that user prompt to be, you're going to use that. Like, so for example, if I wanted to take somebody's name, you go, please enter your name, right? And uh, then you can have some sort of response. So you can actually print back. Uh, a response right the problem with the input is that it'll just take the input but it's not going to do anything with that data so as soon as the um, as soon as the program executes that eight that data is going to go away what we want to do is store it in a variable right so if I'm taking in a name I take variable name input equals or a variable name equals the input and then there's my prompt right and then I can use that data so I can go hello and then I can add name to it so if I run this actually I use Java so I gotta go Python enter your name And it says hello, right? So that that part's pretty simple. So in the lab, you're going to get to a point where you're going to want to include uh, your data in some of the input statements. So for example, if I said so, or actually, let's go age. Let's create one for age, right? And if I said so. name some of you guys are getting used to using these commas right how old are you and something's gonna happen here so I'll enter my name then it'll give me an error here the reason why is that this here is designed to take one input only Thanks. all right so I got this error here and uh, what what it's what it's saying is that this input is only designed to have one text value in it and the problem is when I put commas in Python those commas are also a way to differentiate between several different values entered so we can't use them in our text data anymore. We have to stick with the pluses. All right. So if I use pluses instead, now it'll ask me how old I am. And I can use that with a response. Wow. Your... Oops, years old. Um, so I go here. I'm 321. It's pretty cool. All right, so that's all pretty fun stuff, right? And we can do some stuff with that. 
and that will help you out with the lab. One more thing I want to uh, show you as you get into doing the lab. Let's say I need to do some math with something and I'm like uh, x equals input uh, please enter x value guys pay attention close to this okay so let's have an x input and a y input right input please enter y value and uh, there's varying degrees of this but the thing I'm trying to get across to you is if I want to print the output of this right Let's go print x times y. I'm going to get an error because it's registering as a non-int. So I'm doing multiplication here. And the problem is I can only do that with numbers, right? But by default, your input values are not numbers. So in order to get them to be numbers, we have to do something called casting. And the way I do, the way we do casting is, I declare the data type, right? And the data type in this case is int, and then I put parentheses around what I want to be an int, right? So I'm casting this value, this input value, to an int. So I put it in as text, and what Python's going to do is ingest it and then parse it into an integer so that it becomes an integer value. Same thing here. Int Does that make sense to everyone? And that's that's really all there is to it.